Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the Mindless Horror News. I am your host, Anthony, and we have a lot of things to talk about, so without further ado, let's just get this video started. Ladies and gentlemen, first thing I want to talk about uh, for horror news, I found that uh, I get all my news from playdisgusting.com, so if you guys want to go follow them on Twitter, check out their website, uh, follow them on Instagram, I highly suggest it because they release the best horror news out there. I guess Pittsburgh is going to be paying a tribute to George uh, Romero this year as they are putting on a haunt just dedicated to George Romero. The late great George Romero passed away I think a year or two ago and it is cool that someone is paying tribute to them out in Pittsburgh. Um, I like little haunts like that because they usually have a lot of potential as to um, scare the shit out of you and stuff like that. So that's cool that their people out in Pittsburgh are fanboys of George Romero and they're going to be paying some sort of tribute to him. Uh, probably bringing all of his movies to life or something like that, or Easter eggs or something like that, so sounds fun. If you guys are out in the Pittsburgh area, make sure to check it out. It's called Pittsburgh's Scare House, um, and this Halloween season, they're going to bring a special haunt dedicated to George Romero, so that's really cool. There's a new picture of the nun this week with uh, Taisa Farmiga, uh, and it's really cool. It's her looking in the mirror and then the nun right in back of her, so the nun is supposed to hit theaters um, next month, and I'm very much looking forward to this installment of the Conjuring Universe, so that should be pretty good. Um, if you guys want to see the picture, of course, it's on the screen around me somewhere right now, so um, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this. After seeing that image, it was honestly pretty scary looking, and it got me a little bit more hyped for the movie. Uh, and I'm very much looking forward to this, so yeah. If you guys are not aware, American Horror Story finally announced the title of their Season 8, uh, which is going to be called Apocalypse, which is going to be the Coven Murder House um, crossover event. And they've been releasing a lot of strange and eerie teasers like they usually do. Um, one of the famous ones I've been seeing a lot was the baby in the hourglass, and then they turn around and it's born or something like that, starting the Apocalypse, which is, uh, of course, the title for this uh, season's uh, series. Um, I'm very much looking forward to this. I hope they reveal a trailer pretty soon as to uh, who's going to be in it, um, who's playing who, uh, what characters they're bringing back for both uh, Coven and Murder House. Um, and yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this season. It should be a good crossover uh, season. You guys are a fan of the Doom franchise like I am. They showed some Doom Eternal gameplay and my god, the killing demons, the weapons, it just, it looks phenomenal, um, I am very much looking forward to this, uh, it's a 10 minute gameplay they released online, you can find it right now, just look up to Eternal Gameplay, um, and it looks awesome, uh, they showed off some new demons, some new weapons, uh, just the way it runs a lot smoother, runs at 60 frames per second, which is awesome, um, but the Doom franchise has always had a special place in my heart, and I'm very glad that this Doom game is going to be uh, it looks phenomenal. I can't wait to play it. It's supposed to be coming out uh, in December, I think December 28th, so right around the holidays. And the last bit of news that kind of uh, maybe a little skeptical about Disney buying out Fox is it said Disney could shut down 20th Century Fox likely to avoid genre films. Now what does that mean? That means basically Disney's going to buy out Fox just to shut down and steal some of the major properties. Major properties being Avatar, uh, X-Men, Fantastic Four, all the Marvel stuff. Um, stuff that they've revealed that could actually make them money. Now, they did come out and say that whatever is in production at Fox right now is likely to come out in theaters and they're not going to scrap any of that because that's already in production and on its way to go. That will be the last bit of movies that are through the Fox name before they got bought out by Disney. Uh, one movie in particular, two movies in particular that I talk about uh, when, they, when we talk about scrapping movies is X-Men Dark Phoenix and uh, The New Mutants. Now, we know that The New Mutants was going to be Marvel's kind of first horror movie and it went back into production uh, just to redo the entire movie because apparently it wasn't scary enough to uh, the, uh, when they did test screens. Uh, the same thing goes for um, Dark Phoenix. Now, they didn't want to make it scary, but I heard that they went back in production for another three months, and it took three and a half months to film the original cut of the film. So that goes back to say, are they going to reshoot the entire film? I 
really want Marvel just to take back all their characters because they know what they do. They always have plans and they get their stuff, and they get their shit done. So, um, but what does that mean for franchises like Alien, Predator, all the horror franchises? Well, that possibly potentially means we may never see an Alien nor Predator movie again after the releases that are coming out. For example, Predator, the new movie Predator is coming out uh, pretty soon, and uh, that might be the only one that we ever see ever again. Um, they've already come out and said they're not going to make any more Alien movies, which the, um, in my opinion, the Prometheus series was doing really good. I really enjoyed it, so, um, it, it's kind of bittersweet, because if that is true and Disney plans to shut down doing no more genre films, you may never see the light of day for Alien or Predator unless someone goes and buys out the rights from Disney, so... That's going to do it for today's Mindless Horror News, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm trying to get this whole podcasting thing back together, but for now, I want to at least share some news with you guys so you guys are well informed of what's going on in the horror world. Um, make sure to hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you're aware every time I put up an upload of either a Mindless Horror News podcast, original video, agent chat update, you name it, or related, I will do it. Thanks guys for watching this, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.